for a ball eh. So you won't take charge eh. Okay, girl I know mind Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mishka. Now in today's video, I'll be showing you guys how I use my avocado and shea butter deep conditioning treatment for hair growth. Now I'll be starting off with overnight pre-pooed hair. I'll be using my only and favorite shampoo bar. This is the remainder of my shampoo bar that I've been using for over a month now. So it's still going strong and I love it. If you guys want to know where I got this Black Beauty Shampoo Bar Soap, I'll definitely leave a link to it in the description box below. Now, this shampoo bar is super easy to use. I've been using it for, as I said, over a month now, and it suds like crazy. It's very moisturizing. Um, it's probably like 99% natural, and it leaves my hair super soft. I use it twice to remove the oils from my hair. As you can see, my hair is definitely growing. If you guys are interested in seeing an in-depth length check for 2018, I could definitely do that video for you guys. Leave it in the comments below. Now, my hair is left super soft from using that shampoo bar soap and it's super clean and moisturizing. And I truly love that about that soap. If you guys want to see how I made the avocado and shea butter deep conditioning treatment for hair growth, I'll definitely leave the link to the video in the description box below. Now, this is the consistency of the deep conditioning treatment. It is not too watery and it's not too thick. Now, the slip on this product is amazing. Look at these baby curls. I'm in shock. I'm in shock. <sighs> Beautiful. I did good. Let's see. Oh my god, look at that. These curls are awakened. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. This is how you know when your hair loves a product, like your curls are awakened. Look at that bounce. I made this. I'm a genius. Like these curls. What did I make? I have no idea what I made. Okay, let's see if I can detangle this. Of course I can detangle it. Oh my God. I will never buy another deep conditioner. <laughs> JK. <laughs> it's amazing. What? This is creation. <laughs> this is the most beautiful thing I've ever created in the history of my God. See, when you do your research, you can make anything for your hair. And my hair is detangled. And, oh my God, look at this. You know I go crazy when I like something. It's just, I just go crazy. I can't help it. If I like a product, you're gonna hear me go crazy. And I'm going crazy. Especially because I made this. Because I made this. When I've made the first batch of my avocado and shea butter deep conditioning treatment, I started off using one tablespoon of each of the oils. Now that was a mistake. That was too much oil. Because if you use too much oil like that, after you rinse it out, your hair is going to feel a bit oily and waxy. So if you ever make your own DIY deep conditioner, it doesn't matter what kind of deep conditioner. But if you do ever make your own, I would recommend adding like a half a teaspoon of each oil or even quarter teaspoon. You don't want to add too much. Wow, I love this deep conditioner. My hair looks amazing. I don't know why it looks so good. And I made this like 
I did my research and I thought about all the oils and all the ingredients that could give you added moisture. The only ingredient that I really wanted to add in it was the jojoba oil. That one is really nice as well. Um, but look at my hair. But I didn't get to buy that one, but I survived without it because my hair looks so good. It's amazing. And the shrinkage is not even bad. Yeah, so the shrinkage was not bad. The slip on this product was amazing. I was really impressed that my hair could move with this product. So I added my plastic back and I kept this product in for at least 30 minutes and my hair drank it up. Okay, so this is my hair after. My hair is like super soft. This DIY is truly amazing. I'm, I am really glad I created it. The only downfall is to really remove the smell and the oils from your hair. You have to use like a light co-wash or a, or a conditioner um, that won't strip your hair from all the products that you, you added into your hair. So you want to use something light to remove it. I don't have a problem with doing that um, because if you don't want to go around smelling like hair growth oils and um, avocado all day, then I would recommend doing that. And I think the best thing to use to get rid of um, the excess product and the smell is definitely this dark and lovely natural anti-shrinkage clumping curl clay cleanser yeah the name is really long i don't like the name but the product is amazing this product is something that i'm going to take from 2017 and i'm going to bring it back in 2018. i've been using this um since 2017 and i really love it yeah so i use this to take out the excess product so nothing is left in my hair and my hair is looking and feeling amazing. I'm really and truly happy that I created this DIY. I hope you do, you guys do try it as well. If you have any questions, anything, do leave your comments below. Um, yeah, and you can always adjust your DIY, cut it down, take out some oils, anything you like. Don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll definitely see you guys in my next video. Bye.